happy Tuesday guys so I just realized that the video I just uploaded um, about an hour ago that was for um, the 20th January 20th and I thought today was January 20th so when I got up this morning around 5 a.m. I was studying um, Psalm 20th Proverbs 20th and then I did my devotional on January 20th I just realized after I spoke with the appraiser I'm meeting today later on um, that today is the 19th so I'm like oops <laughs> so I'm gonna bring January 19th word to us it is so so good it's like excitingly awesomely good and it's perfectly fitting and timely for many of you wait till you hear it it's really awesome I am such a goofball anyways God can use goofballs <laughs> he's not looking for perfect servants amen he's just looking for willing vessels amen all right here it is i'm giving you new insight into things let that sink in god is giving us new insight into things amen by his holy spirit his wisdom hallelujah but you must remain positive and confident that the details of your life are working together for good and I know what I'm doing amen so this is where um, I lack I need to grow in my confidence in in my positivity my positive outlook positive belief um, just be more confident um, in father in what he is doing that he's faithful so he is giving me the opportunity to learn and grow in this area in this season of my life i have to be confident because you know i'm learning to live life alone again just me jesus and my youngest son ethan so i have to be confident in christ and he is faithful he is able amen hallelujah thank you lord things are going to become clearer to you as you step forward in faith assured that i'm in control amen our god is in control always in control nothing can defeat you when heaven lives in you amen the holy ghost lives in us heaven lives in us the kingdom of god is not about you know meat eat and drink but it's about peace joy righteousness in the holy ghost amen so we have the kingdom of god in us the very spirit of god that created all things into his existence the very spirit of god that raised christ from the dead he lives in us so we have heaven inside of us amen glory hallelujah thank you lord thank you thank you nothing can defeat you when heaven lives in you think about this you can go through anything and endure anything because inside you lives the majestic and glorious power and presence of heaven hallelujah that is so exciting to me guys is there anything greater than that i mean money anything nothing there's nothing greater than to have the presence of god the living creator breathing living inside of us having heaven inside of us there's nothing greater than that hello <laughs> If this doesn't excite you, nothing will. <laughs> nothing will. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. I am heaven. I am all in all. So bolster yourself up with a new surge of confidence now. And this is what I need for myself. Amen. A new surge of confidence in this year, 2021, that regardless of what comes our way, our God is with us heaven is in us amen and the glorious holy one of heaven and earth who rule who created heaven and earth who sits on high he has no enemy he has no rival um that he cannot defeat and has not defeated amen on calvary so we too who are in him who is in us there's nothing that we can't defeat because he fights all of our battles for us and he's with us and he lives in us. Man, I am so excited. I pray that God will surge 
a new boldness and confidence and faith in both your heart and in my heart. We need it. We need it to face 2021. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God is with us. Scriptures is Colossians 3.10, Romans 1.17, Romans 8.28, 1 John 5.4, Hebrews 13.6, and Philippians 1.6. Let me go to Colossians real quick. All right. Oh. Colossians 3.10. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. And this is why we must go to the word so that we can renew our mind with the truth, the word of God. Amen. Because his word is truth. His word is life. And when we align our lives on his word, his truth, we stand on him. We stand on his promises. We stand on Christ the solid, solid eternal rock that never moves. Amen. Hallelujah. And the next scripture is, let's see. Romans 1, 7 and 8, 28. Romans 1, 7 and 8, 28. All right. Romans 1, 7 says, to all that be in Rome, beloved God, called to be saints. That does not sound right. Romans 1.17, no wonder. Sorry, guys. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. This is so important, guys. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written... The just shall live by faith. So if we do not stand up, walk out, step out in faith, we will not know God. Because God reveals to us more and more of him, of who he is, of who we are in him, or calling our destiny, his mysteries of the kingdom, as we step out in faith. So if he calls us to do something, once we step out, just like Father Abraham, he had to step out. Um, then as we step out in faith, then he reveals his righteousness. Then he reveals his covenant. Then he gives us victory. And then we can walk into the promised land that he has, you know, um, promised and preordained for us. The just shall live by faith. So whatever it is that God is calling you, has called you to do, you know, in that small, still voice, obey and do it amen obey he is so good we cannot we will not know him outside of faith we cannot please him outside of faith the just shall live by faith amen and faith requires us to step out before seeing the evidence amen hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord so that was 117 and now Romans 8.28. I got it all marked up today. Thank you, Lord. All right. 8.28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Then who are the called according to his purposes? All things. All things mean all things. That means the ugly, um, the evil the pain, the shame, the brokenness, the hurt, the betrayals, the defilement, the lies, everything, good, bad, ugly, and evil, all things work together for good to those who love him, those who are called according to his purposes. The more I believe this, the more confidence, the more joy, faith that I have. So we must believe every word of god as scriptures has said amen when he says all he means all jesus wants all things the good the bad the ugly the shameful the painful he wants it all so he can turn it and use it for his honor and glory and for our good amen hallelujah let us trust him more this year first john 5 4 let's see first john 5 4 that's James, that's Hebrew, 
Okay, 1 John 5, 4. It says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. We cannot overcome the world, overcome Satan, overcome self, overcome sin, overcome anything if we do not have faith. Amen. Faith is a vital necessity in order to not just please God, but to walk into our destiny, achieve our calling and destiny in Christ. Amen. So we must have faith. May the Lord increase our faith this year in this season amen hallelujah let me see now we're on hebrews 13 6 hebrews 13 6 all right here we are all right it says so that we may boldly say the lord is my helper and i will not fear what man shall do unto me hallelujah the lord is our helper we have no need to fear anybody amen no one no demons no man because god is with us and god will always help us he will never leave us or forsake us or abandon us or betray us he is for us he's in love with us amen thank you lord thank you thank you thank you lord all right the last one is philippians 1 6 I love this scripture, Philippians 1, 6. All right, Philippians is right after Ephesians. Where is it? Philippians 1, 6. Oh, I did have a mark. It's right here. All right, it says, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath began a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. So be confident of this. He who began a good work in us will perform it, will complete it, will finish it until the day that Jesus Christ, our Lord, our beloved bridegroom return for us. Amen. He's not going to leave us undone, unfinished. Amen. So we can be confident. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of your promises, the gift of your salvation, the gift of liberty, the gift of victory, the gift of peace, of faith, of joy in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Fill us, God, with holy boldness and confidence in you today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Be blessed, guys. I love you.